Hey y'all, good morning. So I'm filming on my camera right now and I'm pumped about it. So I'm just getting ready. Um, I need to get used to looking in the viewfinder or like the lens and not the screen on my camera. Um, but we have a camera y'all and I'm so pumped. So I have my phone now with me. Oh, so nice. Uh, I'm getting ready right now for work. I actually have a doctor's appointment at 10:15, and um, we have kind of nasty weather here in Texas. It's been like rainy and like right on the cusp of freezing, so everyone's kind of moseying into the office this morning. Um, so I just decided I'll go to my appointment before I go in, since everyone's kind of showing up late, anyways. Um, I'm just doing a little morning skincare, which mine is super simple. I just use this La Roche Posay um, moisturizer. Okay, I already had to change the battery, but just some moisturizer. This one I bought for um, nighttime, but I don't, it's like not thick enough. I thought it was a little too thin for my nighttime moisturizer, so now I use it as my morning moisturizer. And then I go in with the Elta MD see if we can get some autofocus up in here. There we go. Hutchison, go on. Things are going really well. My cat almost knocked over the tripod. Okay, again, the Elta MD um, sunscreen. If you have an HSA or like a, what is it, like an F something, Anyways, I have an HSA and I can use, I can get this on Amazon and use my HSA card. So if you have that through your insurance where you have a card that like pays, that you like pay money to from your paycheck, you know, whatever the HSA does. But um, anyways, so I get this through that, which is nice because it is like $40, I think. But this is my first one and it's lasted me a really long time. So I'll let you guys know how long it ends up lasting, but I really like it. It's tinted, but not really says it's tinted. And then I'm not going to do a full skincare routine. I'm just going to kind of get ready. I might leave the camera on and see what that footage looks like. Um, but I did just get the e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter, which everyone has been talking about on TikTok. So I'm going to give that a try this morning under my foundation. And that will be the only thing that I do differently. And we can see how it turns out. So I'm just going to go ahead and get ready and show you the finished product as soon as I figure out how to it. Okay, first impression, I feel like I would wear the Elf Halo Glow on a weekend where I kind of wanted the, like, the no makeup makeup look. Just kind of evens the skin tone, gives you a nice glow, but it's not covering every imperfection. I kind of like it. So we'll see how it wears under my foundation. I wear the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. At least that's what I'm currently wearing. So I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'll see you guys after. to the toast it's 9 22 i need to leave soon my appointment's at 10 15 it'll take me about 15 minutes to get there um just brushing the hair i do have extensions i don't know i think i announced that it wasn't ever like a secret i just didn't think about it um but my real hair is like this is my real hair so it's still really pretty long almost the same length as the extensions anyways now 
Um, but yeah, it does take me about like eight minutes to do my hair versus the five it used to take me. So I'm gonna do that super quick, pick an outfit, and then we're gonna head out for the day. Okay, trying to figure out the angle here. <laughs> This is the outfit of the day. I got this sweater from Amazon. It's really one of my favorites. I'm obsessed with it. Like one of my favorite sweaters ever, not just like favorites from Amazon. Um, I just like the shape. It's kind of bubbly. It's fun, cute sleeves. These are just jeans from like Marshalls. They're literally $15. These boots are like literally 10 years old. They're discontinued sadly, but the brand is um, Lucky Brand. But they were discontinued like five years ago and now the soles are coming off. So we're just riding them riding them all the way home. But I'm about to make a coffee. So I'm gonna grab a coffee, grab my water, grab. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a coffee really quick. I'm gonna take a Kind Bar. This is just like the dark chocolate um, one, I think. Yeah, and then just a fruit and grain bar. It's like a Nutri Grain. So I'm gonna have those two, probably one in the afternoon, one as at breakfast since I have my appointment at 10.15. I'm not gonna really have time to get to work, eat breakfast, and then I'll be going to lunch. So gonna pack both of those pack of water make my coffee and we're headed off using the trader joe um trader joe's non-dairy oat creamer it is so good Okay, y'all, I'm having to hold the camera, which is why you're so close to me. I haven't yet figured out, like, the tripod situation. Um, my car is, like, this is ice. This is ice. So, I'm going to try to get this baby de-iced. I'm going to post a photo of what my car looks, right, looks like right now. It's just, like, covered in a sheet of ice. Um, I really need to be leaving in, like, five minutes if at max. So, let's hope this baby can thaw out quickly, okay? <laughs> Okay, so I'm at work right now about to leave. Um, it's 3.15, we're leaving early just because it's so ugly out and it's so dead, like there's really no point in staying. So everyone just decided collectively, let's go. So that's what we're doing. Um, I went to lunch with my dad, we went to Applebee's. I got the chicken tortilla soup, which is 280 calories, and then a side Caesar salad. I can't remember how many calories that is. Oh, I can look it up because I have my phone now. Yay! Um, so I did that, and then this morning after I filmed my clip, Okay, side, so about 300, I don't know, this one says 230, one says 300. So let's just go with 300 and then with the tortilla soup, I saw the menu said 280, so we'll click on that one. Really not a lot of protein, 580 for lunch. Um, I did have a little snack bar and I had a donut. Someone brought in donuts. Ugh. And it's just like my time of the month. Like I just needed it. I just wanted it so bad. So I had it. Anyways, um, oh yeah, so right after I filmed that clip of y'all this morning when I was in my driveway, I'm defrosting my windshield. Everything's going great. It's you know about halfway defrosted or fro yeah, defrosted. And I'm reading my book on my Kindle app, just sitting here chilling, waiting for my car to defrost so I can get to my appointment. And I hear like a pop. So I look up and my windshield has a huge crack in it. I had a nick from like a rock that had hit like up in the middle, right below this like mirror thing. And I guess that with the cold and the heat caused it to like crack down around all along the bottom and then comes up in front of like literally right here so it's like it's pretty big I would show it to you I'm sitting in front of my office building so you I don't like not trying to show off where I work I do get a lot of questions about where I work um, I work for a construction company we mostly build hotels 
Um, I'm like, I don't know, the office manager, the, I'm like everybody's personal assistant. <laughs> I do a lot of random things, contracts, credit card bills, keep track of all of our trailers, trucks, registrations. Um, I do all of the travel planning for the company, which probably like, not like, not everybody travels, probably 25 people. Um, you know, I do, and then just whatever comes up. I just ordered like random parts for something I couldn't even tell you what it was. I don't know. I just like do whatever. So that's what I do. I get a lot of questions about that. It's like an office job Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30 is my schedule. And yeah, that's what I do. So anyways, I'm going to head home, putting on some lotion. Uh, me and Morgan, I'm going to cook those steak bites tonight, which is a TikTok recipe I found. I'm excited. We're going to do mashed potatoes and green beans, which I think I've made actually I don't think I've made them on my channel I think I did that in a reel um but they are frozen green beans that you bake which is like normal but there's like a I don't know a method I guess and they're delicious they don't taste frozen at all like they taste delish when they come out of the oven so I'm gonna do that as well um and yeah that's pretty much it just wanted to update you on the crazy morning I had I did get my appointment done that was my like annual girly appointment Make sure to make those appointments, ladies, every year. So I got that done, and I'm headed home. So I'll see you guys tonight when we cook dinner. All right, y'all, about to start cooking dinner. So I just have some sirloin steak right here. This is just from H-E-B, our local grocery store. It's about a pound, a little over a pound. So we have that. Some frozen green beans, which we're going to roast in the oven. A TikTok recipe for that. We're making steak bites, also a TikTok recipe. I'll link both of those videos down below. And then we're just serving it with mashed potatoes. You can do homemade if you want, but I can't be bothered. So we like that brand. And yeah, we're gonna start by dicing up our steak and let it marinate while we get the green beans ready and we'll throw those in the oven. Okay, so to the steak, I'm gonna start with some garlic powder. You know, a lot, as we do. A little bit of salt, not too, too much because we have some soy sauce going in there. Want a good amount of pepper, so just regular pepper. Okay. She kinda does, I don't know, a tablespoon or something. I'm just gonna give it a douse looks good to me okay just measure with your heart cook however you want to cook okay so I'm just gonna mix this quickly and we're just gonna set it aside while I get the green beans ready just kind of let it marinate room temp probably should have got two pounds like she did but I thought for me and Morgan this would be fine I bet we're gonna wish we had um, leftovers because this smells already so good. Okay, moving on to the green beans. I'm gonna move this over here. Green beans are frozen and these are so good. I've made them before. Um, it's You're not even gonna believe. How, like you're gonna be like, that doesn't taste that good. No, it does. It really does. Um, it's so delicious. Okay, these have been in my freezer a while and you can tell. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, I feel like that's gonna be plenty. It's honestly probably too much, but we're gonna start with that. I made these for a meal prep on my Instagram one time and oh my gosh, they're so good. A Little bit of olive oil, like a tablespoon. Garlic powder. Okay. We'll do just a pinch of salt and I think that's it but let me double check the recipe I love being able to just go to my phone and grab the recipe all right y'all that's all there is to the green beans we're gonna put them in at 400 for 30 to 35 minutes and then when they come out we're gonna sprinkle them with a little parmesan and they'll be done heating up my skillet gonna put a little olive oil in the pan 
let that heat up. Then we're gonna throw the steak in that's been marinating for about 20 minutes now. I've got about five minutes left on the green beans and on this back burner over here, heating up some water for the potatoes. All right, green beans out. I don't think I used the skinny green beans last time. I might've cooked them just a hair too long. <laughs> they look a little dry, um, but they taste good. So I'm just gonna sprinkle on a little bit of Parmesan cheese. That's the final step. And our green beans are done. So simple, super delicious. And our steak is just about done as well. About as done as we want it. I want it to be overcooked. So I'm gonna take that off the heat. Okay, y'all, that is the finished product. I tried to make it cute like the TikTok video, but this is what it looks like. The flavor on the steak is so, so good. Next time, I won't use the super skinny green beans. I wasn't watching them. I think I overcooked them just slightly, but they are still really good. The flavor is great. Any mashed potatoes you want or whatever carb, so good. I'm really excited for Morgan to dig into this. This is good quality. Yeah, it does look it good. It looks good. Okay, y'all, we just finished dinner. We're actually gonna get a little bit of seconds. I probably should turn the TV down, but it's fine. Um, what'd you think of the recipe? Yeah, it was good. The green beans turned out really well. The steak was great. Loved the green beans. Yeah, the green beans were good. I made his plate because I felt like if I let him make it, he wouldn't have put enough green beans. Yeah. And we loved them. They were awesome. They weren't like too crunchy and they weren't mush yeah they were like i don't know right in between. i was a little worried i overcooked them but they were actually so good no i think they were good and i've made that recipe before and it honestly just turns out every time you don't have to even try i don't know why it's so good it it's is. literally garlic pow powder salt and pepper yeah and it's so good and easy yeah we love that one so that will be a repeat for us the steak turned out really good I did tell Morgan he spoiled me by always feeding me filet because now any other steak that's not filet i'm like it's a little chewy. <laughs> no, that steak was good though. I love it. Was, it was, yeah. We used sirloin, so like a center cut, I think, sirloin, because it sounded And it's like fancier. cheap, like you can't always just go buy that. Yeah, you know? it was like 10 bucks. Yeah. So definitely in the price range, right? We're not gonna spend 40 bucks on filet just to make a steak bites recipe. Yeah, and you and can do like that like weekly and it's like cheap and easy, so. Yeah, so it was like 10 bucks for the steak, probably like two bucks for the green beans and like two bucks for the potatoes. It's like a $15 meal for two steak dinner at home and it's so good and so easy or more because we got leftovers too yeah that that's have, true so that's true so it was a 10 out of 10 from us yep it was good i think i might have some Alyssa's bites later so i'll show you guys that if i do but for now that's the end of the video thank y'all for watching we'll see you in the next one yay <coughs> <coughs> sorry mm. i want to cough in your face i appreciate you